Mm. See John the Philosopher here, and this Simone Biles thing has got me messed up. If you're not aware, uh, in a very shocking move, Simone Biles withdrew from competition in the Tokyo Games. And surprising no one, we got a lot of hot takes about the whole thing. We got dumb tweets, we got dumb articles, and we got dumb commentary like this from Charlie Kirk. Simone Biles says, this Olympic Games, I wanted to be for myself when I came in. And I felt like I was still doing it for other people as she cried after the team event on Tuesday. So that just, it like hurts my heart because doing what I love has been kind of taken away from me to please other people. Yeah, that's the point, Simone Biles. You're representing your nation, you selfless, you're selfish sociopath. You kidding me? Sociopath, reeling. If there's one thing you can count on from Conservative Inc. is that they'll really botch a relevant cultural moment. If anyone making those tweets or writing those articles or doing that commentary had taken maybe five or 10 minutes of, of research, they would have seen that there was a reason behind this. During the preliminaries, Simone Biles was not on her game. She was getting mandatory deductions for faults on a uh, vault and the floor exercise and the beam. And she just wasn't, she didn't seem to be in the game. There were problems going on and she was trying to figure out things as much as everyone else. And things came to a head during the team final when she lost herself in mid-air. Then instead of doing a two and a half turn, she did one and a half turns. Those types of things are major red flags when you're competing at this level. So seeing that her personal issues could bring the entire team down, she removed herself from the, the equation and brought in uh, uh, her alternate who had posted second and third place scores in nationwide competition just, just earlier in the year. So it's not as though she was just defaulting to some bench player to come, come off and, uh, and save the day. She was doing the right thing for her team. Maybe people were looking for heroic efforts like we saw from Michael Jordan back in the 90s when he threw the team on his back as he worked through a, a, a really debilitating case of the flu. Or even more relevantly, uh, Kerry Strug pushing through an ankle injury to secure gold for the US team back in the day. And yes, those were awesome moments in sports history and they, they are to be emulated. But here's the thing. Those were physical injuries, and what you witnessed was a mental uh, fortitude that was necessary to push past those physical limitations. If the mental isn't there though, you can't do it. It may be a post-game interview cliche, but really, Performing at those levels really is mostly a mental game. Yes, you do train your body. Yes, you you go through all of the physical conditioning necessary. Yes, it's a it's a matter of of talent and 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 good genetics basically. But all the rest of it, all of the rest of it, especially when you're performing, is mental. And we're not just talking about somebody cracking under the pressure just in general. We're talking about somebody who is arguably the greatest gymnast we have ever seen, uh, who's already pushed through mentally all of the all of the, uh, the the problems that come with that. We're talking about someone who has endured sexual torture for years. That type of trauma, it doesn't, it doesn't, isn't just rele relegated to one corner of your life. It affects everything. At least that's what I've been told. So the thing is, if if she was having these mental problems and and they were prohibiting her from performing at her highest level, she did exactly the right thing. Now. Don't get me wrong, I understand the idea of trying to take on this generation's obsession with victimhood. I even made a video of it myself, which I will link in the description. But if you were looking for a good target to attack on in that regard, Simone Biles ain't it. Not only are these not the droids you're looking for in that regard, but this situation presented the perfect opportunity to, to put to the test the lie that conservatives lack compassion. But instead, we get the big heads over at Conservative Inc. saying, well, well I, I felt really sad about that one thing, but I still did my job and talked into a microphone. Can't she do the same thing? And this is the problem with conservatism in, in many regards. It's, it's, it isn't so much that uh, our ideology is the problem, it's that our spokespeople have a problem expressing the ideology properly. We don't sell it well. There was no way conservatism was going to come out on the other side of this looking good after attacking America's little sister. 
what should have happened was that after a brief bit of research and and uh, of self-reflection and understanding we could have come to a reasonable uh way of addressing this issue that mental health is important the uh the importance of of providing care for uh victims of sexual violence and and that uh, sometimes you have to make the sacrifice play for the greater good of of the larger body the team all of these things are conservative values so here's the thing we need to not be above calling out our own when they do this stupid bullcrap because the the world is watching they need to see that we hold our own accountable for when we do dumb things and that not everybody on this side of the aisle has those dumb takes and and wants to just be first rather than to be right conservative inc needs to understand that they're not they're not just here to throw red meat out to us plebs they actually have to give us some thoughtful dialogue on things that are going on in the world and present the best face to those who are still questioning what it is we stand for. As for Simone Biles, I really wish her uh, good luck on her mental health journey and that she and you know with high hopes that she can get back to performing as at a high level as she has been before. She's basically the greatest and I, and I really hope that uh, she's able to finish out her career on top. Now all you need jerk morons though, you can piss off. Tell me what you think of this video. What do you think about this entire Simone Biles debacle and the reactions that you've seen here and maybe online in your own social media feeds? Discuss in the comments. In the meantime, be sure to like, subscribe, and share for more videos on religion, culture, and politics. That's all for today. Goodbye, God bless, and we'll see you in another video.